Hi, my name is Sean Jones and I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I was so inspired by Senator Barack Obama's acceptance speech for the Democratic nomination that I decided to have my friends uh, put this video together. Um, and it's for the song called Wounded. The song is about uh, rising from the ashes, being wounded but not dying. And I think it kind of symbolizes America right now. Um, I hope this inspires all of you to do something uh, to make a change, because a change is needed. Uh, in the words of Senator Obama, uh, change doesn't come from Washington. It has to come to Washington. It's all about us. Take care. Thank you. With profound gratitude and great humility, I accept your nomination for presidency of the United States. Tonight, more Americans are out of work, and more are working harder for less. We meet at one of those defining moments, a moment when our nation is at war, our economy is in turmoil, and the American promise has been threatened once more. But I stand before you tonight because all across America, something is stirring. What the naysayers don't understand is that this election has never been about me. It's about you. The times are too serious. The stakes are too high for this same partisan playbook. So let us agree that patriotism has no party. I love this country, and so do you. The men and women who serve in our battlefields may be Democrats and Republicans and independents, but they have fought together and bled together, and some died together under the same proud flag. They have not served a red America or a blue America. They have served the United States of America. Individual responsibility and mutual responsibility. That's the essence of America's promise. Our government should work for us, not against us. It should help us, not hurt us. It should ensure opportunity, not just for those with the most money and influence, but for every American who's willing to work. That's the promise of America. The idea that we are responsible for ourselves, but that we also rise or fall as one nation. The fundamental belief that I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. That's the promise we need to keep. That's the change we need right now. And now is the time to keep the promise of equal pay for an equal day's work because I want my daughters to have the exact same opportunities as your sons. You have shown what history teaches us. And at defining moments like this one, the change we need doesn't come from Washington. Change comes to Washington. America, we cannot turn back. Not with so much work to be done. Not with so many children to educate and so many veterans to care for. Not with an economy to fix and cities to rebuild and farms to save. Not with so many families to protect and so many lives to mend. America, we cannot turn back. We cannot walk alone. At this moment, in this election, 
must pledge once more to march into the future. Let us keep that promise, that American promise. And in the words of scripture, hold firm without wavering to the hope that we confess. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.